वेलकम टू ऑकी टॉकी सो टूडे आर वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द पर्सनल हाइजीन एंड द लाइफ हैक्स विच विल मेक योर लाइफ इजियर इन द लॉकडाउन सो जस्ट नाउ यू सॉ दैट आई केम फ्रॉम माई ग्रोसरी शॉपिंग एंड आई एल शो यू स्टेप बाई स्टेप दैट हाउ कैन वी मैनेज द हाइजीन आफ्टर कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड हाउ कैन वी सैनिटाइज आर वेजिटेबल्स एंड अदर आर्टिकल्स विच वी वॉट फ्रॉम शॉप्स ओके लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट so here we have no shoes beyond this point and basically it will help us to keep away the germs and viruses from entering our home so let's see how we going to make this so for no shoes beyond this point we need a material that is a broad cello tape and a permanent marker or any cello tape or any transparent tape you can take so you have to write no shoes beyond this point and stick it on your floor and for the boundary we need any dark color catchy color shimmery tape so i'm going to take blue color you can take any of your favorite color so i'm going to measure the space and going to stick my tape on the floor if you want you can take the help of elders you have to take a little bit extra so that it can stick on your uh, side walls and it should be there for a long time so i'm going to cut it through scissor as i told you i'm going to take a little bit extra so that it stick to my side walls so let's cut it and stick it just rub it little bit so that it stick well on your floor and doesn't come out so my no shoes beyond this point is ready So now I'm back with my grocery and vegetables in my kitchen and first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands with a soap and I'm going to wash it properly with uh, with a warm water I'm going to rub my hands my fingers my nails and wrist I have to uh, clean my uh, you know inner side of my fingers also now i'll wipe my hands properly with the towel and i'm going to sanitize them so i have used a hand sanitizer over here and i'm going to rub it properly see this is the hand sanitizer i'm using it and i have rubbed it properly and i have dried my hands after rubbing it so i'm going to remove my cap and my mask and now i'm going to tell you how i'm going to sanitize my vegetables No 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 this is not a perfume this is a disinfectant homemade and this will sanitize me and my clothes so let's see how we will make it at home for making disinfectant spray we need disinfectant liquid i am using detol disinfectant liquid over here a uh, blue color you can use the regular one also so i have a measurement cup with me i am going to fill this measurement cup half of measurement cup with a blue color detol liquid and half with the lukewarm water If you have any other brand disinfectant liquid you can use that also like Savlon or any other which is available in your nearest market half of blue color that all i have filled already and i'm going to mix another liquid that is a lukewarm water and my solution is ready i'm going to fill this solution in a spray bottle so that i can carry it with me anywhere wherever i want So this is the spray bottle I'm going to use it's small and handy so I'm going to fill this solution in the spray bottle and I am going to disinfect myself and my clothes with this spray whatever is left you can use it later on Now I'll show you see this is how to sanitize my vegetables now with a steam I have made in a cooker pressure cooker okay so before that i'll wear my gloves because i'm going to take out the vegetables which are not sanitized yet so my gloves are ready now and see i have vegetables over here you can have a look see i got few vegetables right so i'm going to take out my vegetables here 
Chuko. So let's see how to do it. Now you can see that the steam has started coming out from the pipe which we connected to the pressure cooker. I'll check the pressure and the pressure of the steam is perfect right, right now to steam my vegetables. If you want more steam you can put your pressure cooker on high flame. I am doing it on medium flame. But do not forget to wear your gloves because the pipe through which the steam is coming out will be hot. I am going to sanitize my vegetables for 5 to 7 minutes and probably it is going to kill uh, all the germs, bacteria and viruses of my vegetables. Steam it properly from all the sides but do not forget to wash it afterwards because the steam will kill the germs, bacteria and viruses but not the dust and dirt. I am using hand gloves that's why I am scrubbing it with my hands. If you want you can use the vegetable scrubber to remove the dust and dirt of the vegetables. Important point here is that there are some vegetables like leafy vegetables, beans which are uh, you know prone to get spoiled if comes in contact with water. So do not uh, wash them with water directly. Keep them outside for more than 5 hours and use them. Do not eat raw, cook them properly, steam them and then eat them. So uh, uh, wash all your vegetable and strain them properly so it will not get spoiled. Afterwards do not forget to sanitize your sink because it's a metal and whatever we know the virus can stay, bacteria can stay on metal for a long time. So I have sanitized my sink also. So See, um, all my vegetables are done with the sanitization, but other than vegetables, I bought some tetra packs and some, uh, you know, packets. Uh, they also need uh, sanitization. So, uh, I'll tell you how to do the sanitization for them. Now, I will take a little bit of washing powder. I am filling my washing tub with running water and I will dilute this washing powder properly. Now I will add hot water in this uh, solution which I use for sanitizing my vegetables. So now I have added the hot water. I will also add a little bit of running water so that the water should not be very hot otherwise it will damage our tetra packs. The water is lukewarm here and I have added all my tetra packs here. I am not putting this uh, raw food pack in the soapy water because as we know the soapy water uh, leaves the traces behind and affects our digestive system. Now wash all your tetra packs with the running water and keep them for draining. Dry them and then use them. And for the raw food uh, packs I am going to take this uh, cloth and put this in uh, soapy water, the lukewarm soapy water. And I'll rub all my packets with the, uh, with this cloth. Sometimes the packets are not sealed properly. Then this soapy water will affect the taste also and uh, affect our health also. Now uh, wash all the packets with the running tap water. <laughs> clean them properly. Drain them. Now they are sanitized. Don't forget to drain them properly and dry them. We are done with our uh, sanitization of fruits and vegetables other and uh, other food articles and packets which we brought from the outside. And you know, now we will move forward with a life hack which is very important, especially for mothers in a lockdown. They have to wash dishes and dishes many times. And you know, the kids, they don't even bother about the uh, lockdown. They ask for the food again and again and again. And, uh, Mommy! I'm hungry. Can you get me something to eat? See, uh, she's already asking for something and she just had lunch. Okay, wait, I'm giving. So Okay. Now, so now this whole uh, hack is all about uh, the dishes. How we will manage to wash the dishes less and less and less. So let's do it. So here now I'm taking this uh, plate to serve pasta to my daughter and for this hack we need a plate, any flat ball and a clean wrap. And you can take any other wrap which is available with you at home like uni wrap, foil paper or a cling film. So for this we need a plate and a generous amount of cling film, clean wrap. 
so now i am putting the whole clean wrap and covering all the ends of the plates properly so that the plate should not get dirty afterwards and i'm cutting it with the knife you can use the scissor also so see i have covered all the ends of the plate properly and i'm pressing it little bit so that the cling film and the clean wrap should stick properly on the plate and this is how i'm going to save my lot of time so now see after finishing the food the plate is so messy and uh, you know i'm going to wash it afterwards but now we'll see what we are going to do we have only to remove the cling film and the clean wrap and the plate will come out totally clean and you will be amazed after seeing this so now i have to only wash the fork and see my plate is totally clean and i'm going to put it back as it is now and i need not to wash it it will save my washing powder my washing liquid and my time as well so basically the motto of this video was a kitchen hygiene as well as small life hacks and please if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button bell icon subscribe and share and this video is dedicated to all the mothers who work 24 by 7 365 days so thumbs up to the video